in the Maste. I wanted to speak a little bit about, uh, you know, there are a lot of very dark forces that are in planet Earth. A lot of these, aka uh, masquerading as aliens, masquerading as gurus, masquerading as, you know, uh, ministers, a lot of very dark forces are out there, very demonic in nature, very dark, okay? And they want to enslave people. They want to enslave their mind. They want to abuse their bodies. They are very, very, very dark, okay? So, The best thing is not to open yourself to any of these things to begin with, okay? That's absolutely the best. Not to chase powers, not to chase these ego type of things. It's best to stay away from that and surrender into God. Surrender to God, not to try to become a God. When one is trying to become a God, Usually, it's very ego-based, okay? So when you have these types of forces coming, these very dark, very demonic, very nasty forces coming, one thing you say is, do you bow to the light of truth? Do you bow to the light of God? These things will not bow to the light of God. The light of God terrifies them. Okay? Because they are of the darkness. They are of the liar. Of the dark. Of the demonic. Okay? And they have no place with light. So again, if something of this disembodied nonsense wants to come, do you bow to the light of truth? Do you bow to the light of God? Okay. And I guarantee they will not bow to the light of God nor truth. And at that point, be gone. Be gone. No uncertain terms. End of story. Be gone. Okay. Now, I was working with Siddhananda for a short time with some disembodied uh, people that had passed. Some of them were trying to be very disruptive negative energies. They were there just to, uh, again, cause trouble. And I would point blank again, ask them, are you here for light? Do you bow to the light of truth? They would eventually they would have to answer. They would have to go. Because there is no entrance here for them. Okay? There is no entrance here for them. Okay? We are not going to entertain shadows. We're not going to entertain illusion and delusion. Okay? This is a path of peace. This is a path of really beginning path. The first things are honesty, integrity, transparency. The first three hallmarks of this path. Honesty, integrity, transparency. If you can't do it in the light of day, you shouldn't be doing it at night. Okay? Integrity. Okay? 
When you see someone coming, they're lying. They have no integrity. Immediately, you should turn your back on it. Okay? If they cannot be transparent. Okay? When you find that they are lying. Again, you need to turn your back on it and not take it in. I don't care how good it looks on the surface, okay? You can see a lot of very beautiful, very charismatic con men, serial killers, okay? <laughs> Demonic beings, okay? And at first their words may sound enlightened, sound truthful, but you keep finding there's something there that's off something that's off and they can be saying love 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 but wait till you cross them one time and you will see a face an absolutely evil presence there demonic 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 nasty spewing that temple you know, they're supposed to be little gods. What's in that temple? If it's a hell room, if they're running around and all they spew is dark, demonic nonsense, no, they are in a hell realm of their own design. And they will have to live in that consciousness. They may be in de being, deceived, be being deceived at the moment, and think they're getting something, but their actions belay what's actually underneath of it. Okay? Again, this path, nothing has ever been charged for. It's not for sale. No, there are not a lot of followers because there usually aren't a lot of followers where someone that's genuine, that's going to tell you the truth. People like the con, they like the show, okay? They like the wild drama, okay? So if you have these type of entities coming, these type of uh, vitriolic beings, this type of drama. Again, don't open your door to it. Block it immediately. Delete it from your channel. And don't allow those energies to remain there. Okay, let them be thrown back in on themselves. Okay, if they cannot gain entrance, that energy has to go back on them. Okay, understand when they cannot gain entrance, and this is what happens with those that are practicing black tantras when they can gain no entrance, that energy boomerangs back to them. Okay. So understand you have nothing to fear when you stand in the light. Okay. When you know that light overcomes darkness always. When you don't open yourself up to it. Okay. You have free will. You do not have to open yourself up to it. Okay. You send it back where it came from. Do you bow to the light of truth? Do you bow to the light of God? Because these demonic entities won't bow to anything. Most assuredly, not the light beyond lights. Okay. They want to be separate. They want to become God themselves. They don't want to know God. 
they don't want to surrender into God, into that death before death, which is actually life. They don't want that, okay? They won't do that. A vast difference between trying to become a little God with all these powers and one that walks that path of surrender, not my will, but thy will be done, O Lord. And one submits and surrenders into that until there is nothing left of ego, and one dissolves like a drop in the ocean, and is then at that point freed into moksha. So very vastly different path. They're not surrendering to anything ever. Okay. This is a path of surrender to the light of truth. And you should be able to walk really any path. It doesn't matter, Christian, Hindu, Muslim, if you walk the path of the spirituality in it rather than the dogma. Now these ones that are in demonic type of mentality will fight against every other religious persuasion. Okay? They don't want to know the spirituality behind it that runs like a th thread through all of it. They will be in denial of that because they have to keep their little cult secure. When you have a cult, anybody that's not in that cult is against them. Understand? They have to keep their cult secure. Okay? Their demonic realm. Because a house divided against itself will fall. Okay, so here we don't need any houses that are divided against themselves. We need to understand that light has no place with darkness. Okay, if we don't have love, we're as a gong. Okay, you need to develop and have love, and love cannot have that type of vitriolic, hateful spewing and drama when one says, I'm not interested. Okay. This reminds me of a ten-headed hydra. It's got that fake smile, and the minute you come near, it's teeth come and it's like <laughs> this is what the type of demonic presence is like okay try to appear very happy very contented wonderful on the surface but underneath that surface what one finds is very 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 dark 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 entities, okay? And you don't need to uh, engage those types of entities, okay? Again, when you're on a, a spiritual path and you start walking it, there are things you learn, you know, along the way on how to deal with these types of things. You know, there are high tantras, there are low tantras. There are ones that, again, want to use, abuse, enslave, come against people in the night, want to have sexual relations with them in the night, abuse them. It's on a psychic level, very dark, very demonic, and they'll want to say that it's a beautiful thing it's not a beautiful thing. It's going against your will. It's dark. It's demonic. And you need to break free 
of it. Okay. When it comes, bow to the light of truth. Okay. Bow to the light of truth. Bow to the light of God. They can't, they won't. Okay, because there is no light within them. So again, if you are having these types of demonic presences attempting to contact, the best thing is don't allow them entrance, don't answer them, don't give them any energy. Immediately cut off their access. Okay. Get rid of all their spewing and that drama that they put out there. Cut it immediately. But again, there's nothing to fear. Okay. <laughs> nothing to fear. Part of the path when you have Kali, when you are, are doing that type of path, yes, she's fearful in the beginning. You see her standing there, blood is dripping. She's for truth. And anything that is untrue, she's going to come against. She's going to awaken you to that. She's going to cut the head of ego where she finds it. And that is in the end liberation. It's not easy to have these things thrown in the face as one's going through the journey. Okay. But one goes through the journey, learns to deal with these energies, whether they be uh, positive or so-called negative and black, dark energies. One learns how to navigate through that to realization, to that light beyond lights. Okay to moksha, to liberation, into that is part of Brahman, that light, okay, which runs like a thread through all of existence, yet is never touched by any of the happenings. It can never be polluted, okay, and to think that you are separate from God is impossible. So don't think that there is no way back there is always a way back to God. God is what the energy that powers your being. Okay? So it's always available. One can always surrender into that. Okay? And leave the rest of this darkness go its way. Let it feed on itself. Okay? because it will become its own undoing in the end. Okay. Namaste. Thank you.